Hello, welcome to our discussion. Uh, this time, let's discuss all about uh, single phase load schedule. So, paano ba gawin yung mga single phase uh, load schedule na 230 volts, 2 volt at saka 60 hertz. So, meron tayong list of equipment. Ito yung ating uh, reference to the load schedule. So, meron tayong lighting outlet yung total wattage niya is 500 watts then yung do, yung duplex outlet uh, is is 1800 watts so this example is uh, single dwelling unit so ito yung mga loads na nakuha natin and then yung meron tayong ref we have 500 watts yung garcon unit is meron tayong 1500 watts uh, yung rice cooker, meron tayong 400 watts water heater 1000 watts and then coaster pumps meron tayong 1200 watts so ito yung mga loads ng community natin as reference para gawin tong uh, single phase load schedule so yung uh, yung ating schedule is uh, let's do it on the excel so gawin natin from the list of equipment, meron tayong ginawang format. This is uh, load schedule, paano gumawa ng uh, single phase load schedule. So, circuit number, meron tayong uh, 7 uh, branches plus isang spare. Then, uh, yung load is, uh, ito yung power factor. So, mamaya, meron tayong ano, value para sa power factor sa so, yung wattage so uh, itong wattage is ga galing sa sa list kanina yung spare is meron tayong 500 uh, watts and then this is for the uh, BE or yung apparent power itong watts is the real or true power system voltage is 230 and then this is for the current uh, circuit breaker rating, upper trip, ilang pole, saka yung wires, saka, so dalawang line, exam ground, and then yung diameter niya, saka yung uh, type, uh, PVC or REC. So, let's start at the, itong si, uh, sa load description, so yung power factor. So, yung power factor, yung mga resistive loads, yung power factor niya is unity or 1. So, yung lighting is resistive loads, that's 1. Duplex outlet, that's 1. Okay. And then, and then yung rep is meron siyang compressor. So, uh, kahit lagyan natin ng 90%. Uh, yung aircon unit, meron siyang compressor. So, Kung bago pa kaya, let's say 85%. Rest cooker, that's the resistive loads. Water heater, resistive loads. Yung booster pump, let's say 85. Uh, 85 yung power factor. For spare, kahit wala na. So, and then, after that, so itong, uh, to solve for the BE, it's just, uh, meron tayong power triangle. Uh, if you see this uh, triangle, so itong hypotenuse that is for S, the parent power that is S so ito yun, yung S then yung ating uh, true power or P expressed in watts that is uh, real or true power so yung ating Q that is reactive power so to solve for the uh, itong S or the apparent power is just uh, sa formula, the power factor is just equals to uh, P over S, so apparent power over no, true power over apparent power so to solve for this S it's just uh, power, true power over the power factor ok, so therefore it's just uh, true power over the power factor and then itrag na natin to. After that, 
uh, you can uh, get the sound. okay by just doing here okay so therefore we have a total of uh, 9432.03 pa that is for the apparent power and then if conin yung true power that is 9400 Okay, so to solve for the current, it's just uh, it's just the voltage. It's five hundred. It's just the uh, this PE over the voltage. So that is five hundred by by thirty. So meron na tayo. Okay, and then get the sum. Iyad mo yan. So meron tayong forty three point eighteen. Uh, amperes and then ngayon is let's look for the uh, size of the circuit breaker so for lighting uh, minimum is 15 amperes but uh, pwede kayo mitin uh, 20 amperes for duplex you have 20 amperes refrigerator aircon unit uh, pwede siya sa 20 amperes and then for the rice cooker, so, uh, sige, we can use uh, 20. Kung 15 lang gamitin mo, oh, oh, pwede lang din. For water, uh, water heater, that is malaking load. Kahit 30 amperes. So for booster pump, kahit 20. Yung spur, kahit 20. And then for pole, so uh, single piece tayo, line to line. So meron tayo 2. Uh, 2 poles. Okay, so for the size of wire for lighting so let's look on the uh, wire opacity this is coming from the PEC 2017 table 3.2.2.6 quantity B 16 so uh, if we use this 2.0 kaya nya is until 20 if we use 3.5 Kaya niyang capacity is 25 amperes. So for this, uh, we can use uh, 3.5 square mm. Yun ang gamitin natin. So for the line, dalawang uh, 3.5 and then square mm. Okay, so the same. Kahit uh, sa cooker. Okay, so the same siya sa sa, uh, sa booster pump. So for this water heater, later on natin malaman. And then for size of ground, so pag yung circuit breaker natin is 20, we look on the PEC uh, 2017, uh, table 2.2.6.13. So the corresponding ground, uh, if this is the your circuit breaker rating, so 20 yung natin circuit breaker. So, yung ground, if uh, tanso or copper, that is, you can use 3.5. So, ang gamitin natin is isang uh, 3.5 square mm. And then, okay, so the same ng, ano, ng 20 upper circuit breaker. Okay. And then, for the conduit, so, Let's look on the PVC table. That is PEC 2017 uh, stable C10. So, yung wire natin is uh, 3.5. So, if gamit tayo ng 1 half or 20 uh, mm, so, ang, kasi, ang kaya is 4. So, pwede tayo gumamit ng 20 mm uh, diameter na PVC. Kung 5.5 ang kaya is 6. So, pag 3.5, pag 3 port, so, ang kasya is 12. Masyadong malaki kahit uh, we can use this ano, uh, 20 mm diameter. That is 20 mm diameter type na uh, uh, PBC. Okay? So, the same nito. Okay, so yeah. After that, so 
meron tayong naiwan na itong water heater. So, sa water heater, uh, 13 yung uh, 13 yung mapert, uh, amperes sa kaya circuit breaker natin is 30. So, if you look, kung tinan mo sa ground, if you use uh, this 30 ampere circuit breaker, ang ground niya is 5.5. So, ibig sabihin, so yung, dapat yung line din natin, dapat hindi siya bababa ng ground. So, pwede natin uh, disable na lang. So, isang 5.5 square mm and then uh, for line so siyempre dalawa na lang yun dalawang 5.5 na square mm and then for the conduit let's look on the table so kung 5.5 yan apat so kahit gamit tayo ng 3 fourth or 25 mm is 25 mm the diameter na we have PVC so yan lang then after that for the spare so bakante pa naman to so wala mo nang wire ang magagamitin kahit mag ano ka dyan mag alat ng circuit breaker 20 after and then for the feeder size competition so ito yung magiging main ng panel board natin so to solve for the Uh, feeder size is just get the total that's 43.18 and then plus mo siya ng 25% or let's say 0.25 ng highest pole uh, highest motor pole load rating so yung highest uh, motor rating natin is itong uh, booster pump which is 6.14 okay and then to check oh, sige let's have the calculation at the bottom ito na yung ating 0.25% ng uh, booster pump siya lang yung nag isang motor and then meron tayong total na uh, 44.72 amperes And then for the main protection or you can call as the circuit breaker, uh, you can use uh, 50 ampere trip, 230 volts, 60 hertz, 2 pole, and then bolt on na circuit breaker. So yun yung protection natin sa ating panel board. And then ba paano naman yung size of wire? So yung size of wire natin, if we look on the Sabi ng PEC that yung size of wire is dapat 80% lang yung uh, maximum na magamit. So, okay. This is for size of wire. Gamit tayo ng uh, 125%. Okay, so, ito na yun. It's 44.72. Let's multiply by 1.25. So, meron tayong 55.89. Uh, ano lang, it's 55.90 ampere. So, ito yung capacity natin maximum uh, na gamitin sa ating panel board. Okay, so ibig sabihin nito that itong 55.90 dapat ang magamit mo lang, uh, yung makonsume na capacity is 44.72 pasok pa siya sa 80%. So, if you look on the PEC 2017 so yung ating 55.90 is under siya ng uh, pag 8.0 is 50 so 55 tayo so we can use 14 square mm that ang cover niya is 65 amperes okay from the table let's use the uh, 14 square mm uh, na wire na which is yung kaya niyang capacity is until 65 amperes so how about yung size ng ground Yung ating circuit breaker is yung main is 50 amperes. So, if you look for the ground, uh -huh, for the 50, so, 
kahit 60 tayo mag-reference. Yung ground niya is 5.5. Pag 100, that is 8.0. So, malinaw to na yung gamitin natin ground is 5.5. Therefore, that, that is plus 1, 5.5. And then, square mm. In, and then, paano yung conduit? So, if we look on the uh, table, gamit tayo ng REC because may expose siya sa labas. So, yung REC natin, if you look on the PEC table uh, C9, size so, of bar natin is 14 square mm. And then, uh, if we use the 32 mm diameter na REC, so, ang kaya niya is uh, we have seven conductors. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng 32 mm diameter that is in 32 mm diameter na REC REC or RMC okay, so ayun and then uh, ganito lang kumawa ng single piece load schedule uh, provided lang malina na dapat alam mo yung wattage ng uh, equipment mo or yung load and then, uh, pag single phase, dapat yung pole is 2. So, that is line to line. Pag line to neutral, gamit ka ng 1. And then, for the line, ito na yung dalawa, dalawang linya, plus ang ground, then conduit na naka uh, PVC. Because naka-imbid siya sa, sa, uh, sa slab. And then, for the projection, Okay, for the, uh, ito yung total, size over, so, mag-add ka ng 1.25%, uh, that is for 80% na yung ang positive lang, dapat makonsume. And then, gamit ka ng uh, table para masize mo yung wire. Okay, it's coming from PEC 2017, uh, table 3.10.2.6, uh, 1TTB, 16. So, ito yung... Uh, dito, yung capacity ng wire saka yung size of wire na pwedeng gamitin okay, so, ganun lang gumawa ng ano, single piece load schedule dapat malaman mo yung uh, table ng PEC uh, sana may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion na to please subscribe para malaman mo yung updated uh, videos na i-upload ko salamat